And uh, it's a very important moment in the life of this church. God has just been so very, very good for us. And uh, we just want to say we love you. <laughs> good. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> I was emotionally my... Uh, yeah, I, I never ever thought I'd come to this point, but anyhow, in another nine or ten days, Nancy turns 81, and another month I turn 82. And so, um, and as you know, Nancy's been quite uh, unwell in the last uh, 12 months. Uh, two or three operations, five or so stays in hospital. Uh, last uh, week or month, she had a stroke, slight stroke, and... Uh, so we've much soul searching and everything else, and we've decided that it's time for us to step down as senior pastors of the church and um, hand the church over to uh, Tom and Deb. And I do not know how we would have survived in this last 12 months without Tom and Deb's support. They've been amazing. Uh, if I've asked Tom to do something, he just jumps to it. He doesn't, uh, doesn't flinch. He's been there. Deb's been the same. And uh, so it's, you know, one of those things. This lady that's standing behind me uh, blows me away. She comes out of hospital. She's had a stroke. She drives herself to, to Brisbane the next day. A week later. A week later, sorry. Yeah, a week later. I, I, I'm evangelist this morning. And a week later, then she goes to the doctor to to check on what's going on, and he said, I suppose you know you're not supposed to drive. But the thing that has concerned Nancy more than anything else is that she has promised some ladies in this church that she would pray for them. And if there's one thing that I hear come out of her mouth is, Neil, I have to get to these people. I must pray for them. I said, Nancy, you've got to recover first. You've got to Get yourself well, she said, I've got must go. And I think that this is one of the reasons why in my heart I thought I've just got to somehow or other, we've just got to, you know what I mean? <laughs> it knows what I mean. I don't know what I mean, but it's, this is the hardest thing that I've ever, ever done in, in my life. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we'll be around until uh, January. And uh, I think I'm preaching next week, am I? I'm going to preach next week and um, believe in for us, the Spirit of God to move. And uh, I just want to recommend Tom and Deb to you. And um, he's got vision, he's got dreams, he's been talking to me about uh, what his heart is and all that. And, and I'm really, really excited and I really, really believe you're going to see great things. Amen? There's a lot of pro prophetic words that are still going to unfold and and uh, going to happen. Amen? So thank you so much. We, we really, really cannot say how much we love you. Amen? And uh, Nan, would you like to say something? <laughs> um, I don't know how I get through it, but this isn't quite the way I expected we would finish doing ministry. No. No. Um, but we know it's time. Um, it has to be. And I was encouraged last week, my friend Rosalie <laughs> reminded me that when we left our other job, which was international president of another movement, um, we met her and her hubby in the shopping centre and they, we told them what we were doing and Neil said, well, I've got another 10 years at least in me, buddy. And it was 10 years in September. Yeah. And it, it encouraged me that you almost prophesied us out. <laughs> prophesied my own departure. <laughs> yes. It's 10 years. So, but I do feel bad that it's a lot to do with me and I have to try and keep throwing that off. Um, hey, my hey, health hey, and hey, things. Hey. But I know um, I just can't keep going. And I've been, well, I've been, mm. um, it's been hard for me this last year to sit back and yeah. feel like I can't do what I've should yeah. do, and I've been so thankful to Tom and Deb yeah. Yeah. Amen. for carrying that load. And yeah. Um, yeah. We can't thank you for all you people that have prayed yeah. and loved us and hung with us through it, yeah. particularly with me yeah. um, in the time I've needed. And um, yeah. just so, so thankful. And 
know you've been in my heart forever. Amen. Amen. I didn't want to cry, but it's just there. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. And we're just very, very grateful to God um, that he's preserved me in this time too, and I know I need time to recover. And Neil does too. It's been pretty tough on him watching me at times and um, being scared out of his wits. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. asked me what to do when I couldn't even answer him. And my doctor giving the reading of the Act, <laughs> not ringing the ambulance when I should and stuff like that. But I've been so thankful for everything in this 12, 14 months that it's been. Okay. But thank you, people, most of all. Yeah. Godly family that you are. Amen. Please. Amen. As you know, I also had uh, prostate cancer. And uh, it's a funny thing, the cancer was no problem, it was the treatment that nearly killed me. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, it, it took away my strength and, uh, and I've really struggled and, and really had to push myself to, to keep smiling and to keep, keep on top and it, it has been a struggle. And again, I cannot thank Tom and Deb enough yeah. for their support and the way they just uh, got in there and, and filled that gap. And, helped us through, otherwise we would never have made it. Amen? So thank you again. Amen? And uh, God bless you. We're going to be here till, uh, till uh, January now. Neil and Nance, you're the fathers of this house and mother, father and mother, and you always will be. We want to honour you and love you so much. So over the next couple of weeks, Neil and Nance will still be here until Christmas, I think. So Neil's preaching next week, uh, and then I think I'm preaching the following week. But on Sunday the 19th, we're going to have a celebration service. So it's going to be a, a, a real celebration. But we also want to make that a celebration for Neil and Nancy. And just a time to honour you both and to love on you, just to let you know that's what we're thinking. And, uh, uh, and we'll, then we'll have our Christmas lunch. But that'll be a real time of celebration for Neil and Nancy and just love them and appreciate them for the foundation that they have laid and for the thing that they have sowed their life into. We're incredibly grateful. We're grateful to you. Just, we really are. We're thankful to you. And uh, so this next few weeks is going to be a real time of just honouring and celebrating. This Thursday, we've got a Coffee Connections lunch. And it's going to be our last lunch we'll be able to have with you and just love on you as well. So please come to that if you can. It's going to be a we're just going to love God. We're still, got, we're still motoring on. We'll still be having our prayer meetings on, on Tuesday night and believing God for our nation. We'll still be having our, our ladies' chats. We'll still be doing the, the women at the well. There's, there's still all the stuff that we've normally got going on is still happening. We're, we're, it, it's business as usual. And uh, we do have just so much coming up in next year that we're planning and strategizing. Believing God for, I'm believing for a for a worship team. Hello, that we won't have to worry about you know playing those that those remote band. We'll have a real one. We'll we'll have somebody can just you know carry on and and lift up. One of the things that I'm just so grateful for is the presence of God. That that is our heart's desire. When I first met with Neil. He, he said, we're not interested in success, we're interested in what God wants. We want the presence of God. And that resonated so strongly with me, and that will not change. This is who we are as a church. We want God more than success. We want God in our midst. We want the move of the Spirit. We want God to show up in power. I'm fasting and praying and believing God and pressing in, and uh, I, I'm expecting God to fulfill every promise that he's given to us as a church. And uh, 
Because God is not slack concerning his promises. He will do it. 